Hey folks, are you new to frag movie editing and you just can't figure out how to get good color correction? Well today I'm going to teach you how to color alter your video game footage to give certain moods or feelings or emotions and convey them to the audience. Alright, let's get started. The basics of color correction, okay? Basically what we want to do is first we want to make this footage look how it would look if we were inside the game ourselves, okay? Like we were looking at it through our own eyes, okay? And and the basics of that is we want the whites to look white and we want the blacks to look black, right? I mean, that's that sounds pretty reasonable, right? Well, if we look at this, okay, so let's take a look at the black part here. Let's take a look at the the uh, the hammer of the gun and maybe this black part here. It 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 feels a bit gray, right? Doesn't doesn't it look a bit off? Like it's not quite as black as it should. Okay, so there's some opportunities there. We could definitely uh, bring the blacks down to you know crush them a little bit more. And then let's look at the the white part here, the light part here. Do you do you notice how this this probably looks a little washed out to you? Yeah, it looks a little washed out to me. We could probably bring the whites up a little bit. Okay, for lack of better words, we need to increase the contrast just a little bit. Okay. That being said. Let's also take a look at the overall tone of this scene in Train. Counter-Strike has a, a very cool feel to it, right? A lot a lot of the coloring is, is on the cooler side. Let's actually take the scene and let's actually make it a little warmer. What if we want to convey to the audience that this is a very warm and vibrant and good feeling scene, okay? You know, this is this is maybe a moment of triumph for Astralis or for Device here, okay? So we're what we're going to do is we're actually going to play with the coloring and, and give it a little warmth, okay? Now, with all that said... I'm going to show you how, okay? So, in Vegas, we'll do this first in Vegas. We want to go to the effects, okay? Okay, so once we click on effects, all right, we want to choose the curves, the color curves effect here, okay? Let's click okay, all right? We'll, we'll do one thing at a time, all right? Okay, so let's bring this out. Let's bring this down just a little bit, okay? So, let's start with the blacks first, okay? All right, and that's going to be down here, the lower aspect, okay? So, what we want to do is... I'm sure you've heard of this before. It's called an S-curve, okay? Now, an S-curve, basically what that does is it, it, it basically allows you, to, it increases the contrast, bring, so it brings down the blacks, and, and it brings up the whites, okay? So let's do the blacks first, okay? We'll make our own little S-curve here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down until we can start to see the dark areas get a little darker, okay? Now, it's all about making small, minute adjustments, okay? You don't want to go crazy. Less is more here, okay? So we brought this down just a little bit, and that looks pretty good. That's starting to get there, right? So as you can see, if we bring this out, the darks are looking a little darker. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Do you see how the darks are getting a little blacker? And they're starting to get, you know, they're starting to pop more, right? All right, so now that we did the darks, let's bring the whites up. Let's bring the light areas up now. So we're going to go to the top here, click, and we're going to drag up just a little bit. And as you can see, as we do that, it starts to get a little brighter, right? As you can see, the white is starting to have this kind of glow to it, right? But not too much. So let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Do you see the distant, the difference? See how the white is sort of like washed, but when we turn the, the curves on, it gives that nice little pop to it, right? And the black and the white really create this awesome contrast, okay? Cool. We increased the contrast. We brought the blacks down and the whites up, all right? Great. Let's move on to coloring now, okay? Let's bring up our uh, effects window again, and let's choose color corrector now, okay? All right, so this is where we get to really have fun with the uh, the mood that we want to convey to the audience, okay? You're going to see three wheels, low, mids, highs, okay? Right. Well, lows are obviously the darker areas. If I start to play with this, you can see the, uh, the black areas turn colors, okay? If we want to reset it, just double click. All right. Mids, mids are, you know, the mids are basically like the whole thing, right? Mids are going to affect the entire area. And then highs are going to affect the light area. So as you can see, check out the white. If I bring it to red, you can see that the red, the red starts to affect that. All right, we'll double click here. Okay. So we want to give this scene a little more warmth to it, right? So what we want to do is we want to just drag this and bring it towards the red-orange, okay? And just by doing a little bit, as you can see, it's starting to look like it's a little warm. It's not, it's not looking as cold as it used to. We can turn off color correction, and you can see the difference already. You see, color correction is off. 
And then when I turn it back on, you start to get this warm feeling to it, okay? If you want, we can actually even just increase the saturation if you think that it looks maybe a little washed out, or you could decrease the saturation. But, you know, I think that looks good. We'll just maybe add a little bit to it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this looks pretty good. I think this will do. Obviously, we'd have to look at it, you know, play it through, make sure everything looks good throughout the entire scene. But, yeah, that's the basics. So, yeah, you want to embellish the the, the already existing color of, of the uh, scene, uh, but not overdo it. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, Train now has a very warm feeling to it, and it pops and has just a little bit of contrast to make the scene really stand out on its own. Okay, cool. Let's go over to um, let's go over to Premiere, and we'll do uh, the same thing there, but with the tools that Premiere has to offer. Okay, so if you're not a Vegas user, we are now in Premiere and. Here, we can do the same exact thing. Go to Windows, go to Lumetri Color, and we have a lot of options that'll help us get the coloring that we want. Let's click, make sure our clip is clicked, and we are going to, if it pops up like this, you wanna to go to Curves, and as you can see, we have our RGB curve, okay? So let's come up to here, let's click right about here where this first intersection is, create a point, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag down like we did before. Let's actually bring the gun up. There we go. Drag down like we did before to really start bringing those blacks out. Okay, and then let's come over here to this first intersection, click on it, create a point, drag it up to bring the whites out without losing detail. I th yeah, that, that looks good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And let's, you always want to make sure you're not crushing the blacks too much, and I don't think we are. Okay, cool. So that's starting to look a little better, right? What's black is actually black and not gray and washed out like it was before. And what's white actually pops a little bit now. All right, cool. Now that we're done the curves, let's collapse that. And now let's come down to color wheels and match. Okay, now same exact thing, all right? So mid-tones, right? We want to add something to basically the entire thing, right? We want to add some warmth because it's a little too cold right now. So. All right, so we click here on it, and let's drag, start dragging a little towards the red and the orange. We want to give it some warmth, right? So we'll keep dragging till we start to see what we want. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could probably... That's eh, a little too yellow, right? Let's, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Way better than before, right? Look at that. Washed out, very blue, and, and just almost dead and lifeless. And then we turn on the color correction, and now we have this, this scene that pops more. The whites are white, the blacks are black, and it's got some warmth to it. It feels good. It feels very organic, right? This isn't a necessary thing you have to do, right? Like, you don't have to make it warm, right? What if that's not the feel that you want in your movie, right? What if you want a cold, industrious looking? Well, you can then bring it back down and let's go more blue, right? We can actually take it more blue. Yeah, there you go. Now it's very cold feeling, yeah? Now it feels like death, like the CSGO battlefield. Actually, let's see how it looks later down the road. Yeah, very, very cold, like almost a winter's day. Doesn't it feel like that? Like everything's dead, the, the fall is on the horizon. All right, well, let's actually, let's just bring it back and uh, make it feel summer again. All right, and just like that, now it feels like spring's on the horizon, right? And summer's on its way, and we're going to take a train to the uh, the beach, right? So as you can see, I, I, just, I just created two different emotions only by moving the mid-tones wheel a little bit. I moved it blue, and it felt like it felt like winter was on the horizon. I moved it back over to red, orange, and it feels like spring, and, and summer is, is just about to come around the corner. There are so many cool things you can do with the vibe and the feel of your movie just by making small adjustments. You don't have to go crazy with your color correction to create a, a feeling for, for the viewer, all right? So keep it simple. Keep it easy. It doesn't take a lot 
to convey something to the viewer. The, the human eye is very intuitive and the human mind is very intuitive to what feels real, you know, especially when it's looking at something fake. Okay. All right, cool. I showed you Vegas. I showed you premiere. Now go forth, go color, correct your footage, make something pretty, make something cold, make something warm, but make something, you know, just do something, create something and, and show the world. And I can't wait to see what it, what it is, you know, until next time, folks, take care.